Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we learn how to multiply a mixed number by a whole number. Okay, so let's take a mixed number. Let's take a mixed number like one and a quarter. And what I want to do is find out what one and a quarter times three is. Okay, three is the whole number. So what I want to find out is what one and a quarter times three is equal to. All right, so let's take one and a quarter of something. Okay, let's say, let's take, for example, pizzas as usual. So I take one and a quarter pizzas. So what I do is I take this one whole pizza and I copy it here. And I mark one and a quarter on these two pizzas together. Okay. So here is my one whole pizza and this is my quarter pizza. So together they are equal to one and a quarter pizzas. Now what I want to do is I want to multiply this one and a quarter pizzas times three. Okay, so I want to multiply it by three. So let's see what we get when we multiply one and a quarter pizzas by three. Well, actually, we can't eat a whole pizza as it is, right? We need to cut it up into slices. You can't swallow a whole pizza, right? So what we do first of all is we take all these pizzas and we slice them up okay so we cut them up to make our life easy now i have the second pizza which has already been cut up so i don't have to worry about that all i need to worry about is this guy over here this whole pizza over here so what i do is i cut it up into slices and I cut it up into four slices the same way as the second guy over here. So what we had at first was we had this mixed number here one and a quarter okay these two pizzas together mean one and a quarter. So one and a quarter and what we were trying to do was we were trying to multiply it by three. Now we know that we cannot eat a whole pizza without cutting it up. So what we do is we simplify things and we cut it up into slices. So now how many slices have we got? Well, we've got one, two, three, four and five slices. So what we have now is we have five slices. Okay. Now you can call it five slices, but if you have to speak in terms of pizzas instead of slices, then you would say that five slices are equal to the fraction five fourths of the pizza as the pizzas are cut into four slices each and you have five slices okay so five slices actually is represented by the fraction five fourths or five fourths pizzas okay so this is five fourths pizzas or the fraction five upon four so the fraction you get is five fourths now you still have to multiply these five slices by three so let's do that and let's see what we get so we still have to multiply these five slices by three okay so actually from here to here what we have done actually let me move this a little down here okay so what we've done from here to here is we have changed this mixed number to this improper fraction five fourths now we still have to multiply this by three okay so let's do that let's see what we get when we do that so what we get is five slices times three which means three sets of five slices okay so three sets of five slices which means we have these five slices and when you multiply it by three you get three sets of five slices so you have one set two sets and three sets of five slices, right? So one and a quarter times three is equal to five fourths times three, which is equal to one set and two set and three sets of five slices, right? So what we have is we have three sets of five slices. Well, let's see how many slices that makes. Well, that should make five slices times three, which is 15, or it should make five slices plus five slices plus five slices, which is still equal to 15. So what we have is we have 15 slices from here. So we have 15 slices, but 15 slices we know is equal to the fraction 15 fourths of the pizza, right? So 15 fourths pizzas or 15 slices. This is what we have so far. Okay, so let's go back and see what uh, we have done so far. So we had this mixed number one and a quarter. What we did was we changed this to the improper fraction five fourths. So what we did first was we changed the mixed number one and a quarter to improper fraction the first thing you do is you change to improper fraction because you cannot eat whole pizzas you must cut them up into slices right okay next thing we did was we multiplied 
this improper fraction by 3. Now, if you have to do it mathematically, what you would do is you would actually simply put a 1 below this, okay? So, make this 3 as the fraction 3 upon 1. It doesn't change the value of 3. All you did was you'd made 3 as a fraction, okay? So, now what you have is you have two fractions. You have the fraction 5 fourths and you have the fraction 3 upon 1. So, what you do is you simply multiply it the way you multiply fractions. And for that, you multiply the numerators by each other and you multiply the denominators by each other, okay? Now, when you multiply the numerators by each other, what you get is you get 5 times 3. And when you multiply the denominators by each other, you get 4 times 1. Now, 5 times 3 is nothing but 15, which is what this is. 5 times 3 is 15 and 4 times 1 is 4. Okay, so the next step that you do is you simply multiply. Okay, so you multiply and you get this answer. And this is exactly what 1 and a quarter times 3 is. So this is the answer you get. You get the improper fraction 15 fourths, which is 15 slices, okay, or 15 fourths pizzas. But what we're looking for is a mixed number because the original number that we were trying to multiply was one and a quarter, which was a mixed number. So our answer should also be in the format of a mixed number, okay, and not an improper fraction. So what we got to do next is we got to change this improper fraction, 15 fourths, to a mixed number okay now it's pretty straightforward to see here that what you have here is you have 15 slices but if you look carefully what you actually have is you have three whole pizzas right actually let me do this here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take each of these pizzas and i'm gonna make them whole okay just to show you that these four slices are actually one whole pizza okay each of these four slices is equal to one whole pizza so i take this first pizza and i put that down here and what i do is i simply get rid of these lines so this is my first pizza which was actually equal to four slices and now as you can see this is nothing but one whole pizza so this guy over here these four slices make this one whole pizza in the same way what you can do is you can take the second pizza over here and do the same with it what you do is you put it down here and you simply remove the lines that cut it up into slices okay and then you can see that you really have a whole pizza okay that four slices make one pizza so there you go this is your second whole pizza then you take this third guy over here and you do the same with it what you do is you get rid of these lines that cut the pizza what you do is you're simply joining the slices right so you're joining the slices you're combining the slices and what you get is a whole pizza. So, so far what you have is from these three guys over here, you have three whole pizzas. Now, there is still some more left. What we have is these three slices. These three slices are still left and need to be taken care of. So, how about I take one slice at a time, okay? So, I take this one slice over here and I put it here, okay? Now, how about actually I combine all these slices into one pizza? So, what I do is I already have one slice okay so let's say that this is your slice a okay so this is your slice a this is your slice b and this is your slice c so i have slice a over here next what i want to do is i want to put slice b over here okay so what i have now is i have slice b over here and then next what i have is i put slice c over here so what i get is i get three whole pizzas and three slices so 15 slices 15 slices are equal to three whole pizzas and three slices so this is three whole pizzas plus three slices now three whole pizzas are just three whole pizzas and three slices are represented by the fraction three-fourths of the pizza, right? We know that three slices are equal to three-fourths because we have three slices out of a total of four slices that the pizza is cut into. So the three slices is represented by the fraction three-fourths. And three plus three-fourths is equal to the mixed number three and three-quarters. So what you get from 15-fourths is the mixed number three and three-quarters. So there you go. This is equal to three and three quarters so the next thing after you found out the improper fraction is 
you go and change it back to mixed number. And we stop here because we found out our answer. So let's write that down over here, okay? So what you have is you have one and a quarter times three, which is equal to five fourths times three because you change this mixed number to improper fraction five fourths, okay? Next, you multiply and what you get is you get 15 fourths. So one and one fourth times three is equal to 15 fourths. Next, what you do is you change it back to a mixed number and the mixed number you get is three and three quarters. So the mixed number one and a quarter when multiplied by the whole number three gives you three and three quarters. That's the answer. So we found the answer and we stop here. But sometimes you cannot stop here. There is one more step that you need to do. For example, if you had to multiply one and a quarter by six, then you know that first you change it to the improper fraction five fold. And what you do is you do five fold times six upon one. And what you get is five times six, 30, and upon four times one, which is four. And that will give you the mixed number seven and two fourths. Okay, so the answer that you get when you multiply one and a quarter by six over here in this case is seven and two fourths. But if you look closely at the fractional part over here, what you see is you have two fourths, okay? And two fourths is not the simplest form of the fraction because two fourths can further be simplified. Okay, so let's take this fraction two fourths, okay? Now two fourths, as we just said, is not the simplest form of the fraction. Think of an equivalent fraction for two fourths, which is still simpler. Now watch, if we divide both two and four by the number two, okay, if you divide both the numerator and the denominator by two, what do you get? Well, what you get is two when divided by two gives you one and four when divided by two gives you two. So the simplest form of this fraction is one upon two or half. So this number seven and two fourths can be simplified to seven and a half. So in the first case, when you get the answer is three and three quarters, you stopped here because you couldn't simplify this fractional part three quarters any further. But in some cases, you can simplify the fractional part of the mixed number. And in those cases, you must simplify the fractional part and put the fraction in its simplest form. All right, that's that about this lesson. I hope you got what I taught. And I hope that now you'll go and do some practice exercises. So for practice exercises, as usual, visit www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes you perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.